Hello once again, this is Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. I want to welcome you to the best trade of the week. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we're going to talk about a new market uh, this week. We're going to talk about the gold market, at least a new market. It's not a new market, but a new market for me to trade. I've actually introduced uh, gold and oil, and we're going to take a look at today's trade, and we're going to look at the gold market. So, uh, knightcapitalmanagement.blogspot.com, or you can get to my blog at knightcapitalmanagement.com, and that'll get you where you need to go. Uh, the gold trade, and uh, here's your the little box. Go ahead and sign up here, name, email, and you can receive all my e uh, email updates. You can find out about the live trading chat room that I run as well. Uh, go ahead, and uh, I will not spam you. I will not sell your name. And obviously, if you don't like what you hear, feel free to drop out. I don't, you know, you know, whatever makes sense to you. I'm here to help. The gold trade is uh, the one we're looking at today. Uh, on our replay was actually something that happened and I start following the gold at 830 but you can see that this was a nice movement up through here and we'll take a little bit a better look at this now let me show you one thing on the chart here's our breakout of this range and you can see kind of our our ascending triangle breakout and this is a pretty strong pattern when it moves we had room for the in here to the target at the major re high of uh, previous day at major resistance and the trade itself earned $800 for every two contracts as we got out right up there uh, uh, at the major resistance level. So every two contracts are $400 a contract. Okay, for those that don't know by now, I have uh, uh, partnered with Rockwell Trading here at rockwelltrading.com. This is their website, that uh, the main homepage right here. And to get into the live uh, day trading rooms, what you want to do is go ahead and come over here and you see this uh, little area right here. Click this. Uh, and then you can read this all for uh, seven days uh, for $1. This is a trial. It's all real time. Here's a little demo for you to look at one of the trading rooms, which is actually the live uh, day trading room led by Brian Larson called the Simple Day Trading Strategy. You can look at the breakout strategy in room two. And also, you have my room available to you as well. Uh, now, that's seven days for one dollar, and then it goes and converts to ninety-seven dollars for one month for three trading rooms. I think that's an awesome deal out there. One of the reasons that I like Rockwell Trading is that you know they're looking out for the individual trader and making it affordable to uh, all of us. Once again, the details uh, go to RockwellTrading.com, and then follow the link or here at rockwelltrading.com right there and then there's your there's your link for the room itself okay on the last video that I did I talked about uh, the markets and, and and what I thought about for the week so hold on let me fix it okay so what we have right here is the calendar for next week as you can see Sunday nothing Monday couple orange reports nothing really happening uh, 5 a.m. you have a, a, a report here uh, the first red report is coming at 9 a.m. And before I even say all of this, we got to right now we, we're, we're seeing what happens with the bill that's being presented at Congress and the Senate. And if uh, that gets passed over the weekend with uh, uh, our new President Obama, we're still trying to learn about the Obama monitor. Obama. Obama. We're trying to still learn about Obama and his monitor, and I call it the Obama monitor. We're trying to learn how to take it when he's trading or when he's not trading, when he's uh, actually uh, getting ready to say something, and how we use that is for our own trading. Um, do we trade in front of it? Do we not trade or whatnot? So on Wednesday, we have the 830 uh, building permits right here, we have, and we also have at 1, this is kind of going to be a little bit on the port side right here. Fed uh, ch uh, Chairman Bernanke speaks FOMC meeting. Uh, this is going to be an important afternoon. Probably hardly anything happened up until this point. Uh, 2 o'clock, 2.15. Uh, on Thursday, this is Wednesday. On Thursday, you have a couple reports here as well. PPI, unemployment claims here on Thursday to round out the trading week and Friday. I don't trade Fridays. But we have a lot of action, a lot of reports. This could be some really good movement here in the markets next week. So I'm looking forward to trading next week. Okay, for those that don't know, I've actually released a, a free ebook called uh, Day Trading Night Trading with a Tiger. It's uh, 12, play, 12 pages long with a cover letter. Feel free to send me an email at tiger at rockwelltrading.com. Once again, that's tiger 
T-I-G-E-R at rockwelltrading.com and I'll be more than happy to forward this ebook to see the kind of trades and the methods that I'm looking at. Now this is not all inclusive and this is just uh, the second edition of this. I'm be adding golden oil soon but I wanted to let you know that this is available to you. Send me an email. I'll be more than happy to forward this to you. Tiger at rockwelltrading.com Okay, so here we are. This is the gold market. We're looking at uh, uh, it was actually Tuesday, uh, February 10th, 2009, and this is the gold market. Now, I want to once again, let's kind of highlight the same areas that I was talking about before. Horizontal line breaking through prices right here, and we have a trend line that's been established in this area. I know that's not perfect, but this is good enough. You can see the ascending triangle that's being developed, and what I'm looking for as far as volume. Now, the volume wasn't here at this time to make the trade but obviously we had a green bar if you're up this early you could have jumped on this trade here at 730 and wrote out a nice trade here at 730 on so uh, just so you understand the the dollar value that you're looking at just roughly let's say you got in here and carried it forward up here to uh, roughly in the 912 area uh, looking at about $1300 movement here in gold and we captured about $400 of this movement on every one contract or, or two. So uh, I like to look at the market at about 8:30 in the gold, and we'll be advising differently if I, if I see that there's a, a time to get in. The the next bar in actually was at 3,000 volume, and I like to see about 5,000 or more in volume here in gold to make a trade. So let's go ahead and fast forward on here to the. Uh, let me get to the right times that in front of this. Okay, here we are at 8.15. 8.15 a.m. And let me go ahead and show a little bit more on the charts up above. Okay, so I added in the low, uh, excuse me, high of the previous day. And here's your uh, upper average daily range that's kicking in. And once again, if you've watched my videos, you know that I like to use these as targets and also think as a, as a magnet that likes to to pull it when it's in a nice trending range here. We got a thrust breakout of a range once again here here at 730 it was a possible entry but the entry that we got in here at 830 now you could have rode this out for a nice handsome profit if you were to get yourself up a little bit early so just so you understand this would have been about you know good 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 trade 300 plus 400 1300 and the 400 dollar looking about 1700 dollar trade in gold right here so let's go ahead and fast forward it here to our entry point. All right, so here's our setup right here. Are we looking at uh, a buy stop order to get in the market here at 908.7? Our bar opened up here at 908.2, and we're looking for the market to move up to here at 912. So let's go ahead and, and let's see what happens here. Our first movement down. Let me stop this. You saw that movement down first and then up. Now I like putting in. Uh, a buy stop order because if the market's going to go I want it to kind of reach up and get me and as I like to say I like to have the market move in my direction to get filled so um, in other words that's kind of how I like to look at the trades a lot of times and uh, we got a two point stop here in the gold and we're looking at a four point target right here here's a simple trade and I showed you that the profit the potential of getting up a little bit early would have been so our volume, if you look at the volume bar right here at the 8.30 a.m. bar, you can see that we have a nice solid volume, well above 5,000 in volume. And this gave us another good signal here to get into this trade. So here we are. We're going to ride this out. Let's just take a look. We saw the early morning movement here. All right, the time now is here at 8, well, excuse me, it was uh, 8.30. We got in at 8.30 a.m. and at a 15-minute bar here. This trade was in and out of the trade. Never really got near reaching down here to our stop point. We got filled at 908.7, carried forward to 912.7, took both the contracts off here, and was able to knock out $800 worth of profit on this particular trade in gold. Once again, getting up a little bit early, you could have made a lot more money in this. So once again, this is Dave Knight here at KnightCapitalManagement.com. I want to welcome you and thank you for watching this video and look forward to hearing from you soon. Once again, if you'd like to see the uh, ebook itself, just send me an email at tiger at rockwelltrading.com and I'll forward that right to you. Have a nice day.